day 1058 of the Trump administration. And if the Democrats on the House Judiciary Committee had their way, what they voted on today would end the Trump administration. After calling an audible on an overnight recess, after 14 hours of often repetitive and tiresome and purely partisan debate during which not one vote was changed, their chairman with great solemnity wrapped up the voting today in about 10 minutes. They are sending two articles to the full house, abuse of power, obstruction of Congress. The vote was the same as it always is, party line, 23 yes, 17 no. Today is a solemn and sad day. For the third time in a little over a century and a half, the House Judiciary Committee has voted articles of impeachment against the President for abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. The House will act expeditiously. Speaking of that, here's what's ahead for the House. Tuesday morning, the Rules Committee meets to decide on the prospect for the impeachment vote. Side note, the full House is also expected to vote that day on a spending bill to keep uh, the government open and avoid a shutdown. On Wednesday, the full House is expected to vote on impeachment. Thursday, the House expected to vote on the remake of NAFTA. Then they leave town. They'll be in recess until January 7th of 2020. Tonight, we're getting the first real look at how some Democrats will vote in the House, specifically those elected to congressional districts that last went for Trump. Max Rose of New York says he will support the measure, along with Harley Rauta of California. Colin Allred of Texas says he will vote yes. Connor Lamb, Pennsylvania, says he'll do the same. So will Tom O'Halloran of Arizona and Democratic Congresswoman Elaine Luria of Virginia. Over on the other side of the Capitol, the Senate is preparing to host a trial. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell assured Fox News viewers last night he's working hand in glove with the White House legal team. Today, he dismissed the idea that impeachment could have a negative impact on Trump's effort to stay in office. It seems like it may not play much of a role in the president's reelection campaign. NBC News has confirmed that White House counsel Pat Cipollone is expected to represent Trump during the Senate impeachment trial, although this doesn't rule out the possibility of additional counsel. This week, we've learned Trump's allies in the Senate are aiming for a short trial, even as Trump is pushing for a robust defense. He was asked about that earlier today. Do you prefer a, a short process in the Senate or a more extended process? I can do... I'll do whatever I want. Look, there is, we did nothing wrong. So I'll do long or short. I wouldn't mind the long process because I'd like to see the whistleblower who's a fraud. We're dealing with a lot of corrupt people. There was nothing done wrong. To use the power of impeachment on this nonsense is an embarrassment to this country. The president's TV lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, is back in the news in addition to reportedly being under investigation by the feds for his work in Ukraine. This morning, he was at the White House, where we've confirmed he met with the president. Giuliani's just back from that corruption investigation trip to Ukraine. He had a documentary film crew with him on the trip. Interestingly, tonight, the New York Times reports, quote, last month, Mr. Giuliani told an associate that Mr. Trump had approved of his participation in the documentary when he briefed the president about it during a meeting at the Trump International Hotel in Washington. The Wall Street Journal has new reporting about Rudy's mission to Ukraine. Quote, when he returned to New York last Saturday, the president called him as his plane was still taxiing down the runway, Mr. Giuliani said. What did you get? He, he said, Mr. Trump asked. More than you can imagine, Rudy replied. He is putting his findings into a 20-page report. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.